it's been a while since we've done a stretch video, so I thought you might enjoy one of those. So coming to all fours to start, bring your right hand behind your head, and I'm gonna have you bring the elbow down to tap the other elbow. Inhale, lift that elbow up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap down. So probably do anywhere between 10 to 20 per side, depending on what feels good for you. So if you get to 10 and you're like, oh, I'm pretty exhausted here, maybe take a little break, come back, or just call it at 10. So do 10 to 20 each side. After that, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, reach in between the left hand, left knee, and sit back. You're gonna hold here. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach, hold. Three, two, one. So watch my hips, they come forward, and then they sit back as I reach under. So I get this nice little stretch through here, but I also get a nice little low back stretch as well. So doing this one, probably 10 per side because you are holding just slightly. Same thing on the other side, reach, under, sit back, reach, under, sit back. And from the front, my legs are fairly wide. So if your belly needs space to hang, make them even wider. That's totally fine. So we've done that, our legs are still wide. Now bring the legs even wider, sit back with the hips, then come forward. Only to plank, I don't need to drop those hips, so be wary of that because belly is heavy, it's gonna wanna drop this way. So you're coming forward, plank, forward, plank. Now, if it feels good to drop the hips, you might, at the end of these, maybe do 20 of those, you might come here, but that's gonna put a lot of strain in the low back, so I wouldn't hold for very long, but it's a good hip opener. I'm just wary of this. So even if you do come here, try to keep the rib cage down and just a little stretch. Come back to all fours, pull those knees in. We're gonna go rounding out, kind of pushing the hips to one side as the chest goes to the other. So I'm rounded here. You can see my body is kind of like this as I'm on all fours. And then I go over and I kind of do that on the other side. So it's just a movement. You can change directions and you can go back to, or not back to, but you can start cat cow here. Exhale, inhale. This one, just go for as long as you need. I love this one and I think it's great for pre and postnatal. All of these stretches are great for pre and post. So after you have baby barf as well, you can come back and do these. So push into those hands, round out the spine, sit back. And now while we're here, so our knees might be even wider for that belly. While you're here, drop the shoulder blades, push them away. Drop the shoulder blades, push them away. So we're just getting this opening here. And this is gonna be super nice when you're breastfeeding because when we're breastfeeding, we hold our baby. This is the position I was in all the time for the first like year, maybe year and a half of Kanan's life. So I was just like feeding like this, checking my cell phone, sitting in a chair that didn't have any back support. So I was totally rounded forward. And honestly, I would say today, it's still affecting my posture. So to be able to get in here and to open up some things, that's gonna be really crucial both before you have the baby to get you strong, but also after to keep you shoulders back without flaring the rib cage, but just to get into this movement. So that one, probably 20 of, and then you should be good. Enjoy the stretches.